JPT, back here with another edition of Attack of the B-Team. Ah, get out of my house. What the heck are you wearing? Is that a halo? <laughs> Clip on halo. Got me some boots. Hey, I need some boots, actually. <laughs> ah, yes. So, a lot of things have happened. I've actually recorded another episode that you have not seen. I do apologize for that. But I did learn about a few things that just made me look like a fool. And who wants that, right? Who wants that? Ah, yes. Clear glass. So, I built another smeltery, as you can see here. And the way I did it was I just went ahead and built it with two. Added this uh, little hopper in front of the smeltery controller. Do I still have enough lava? I hope so. I hope so. Oh, I do not. So that is probably not cooking that stuff up anymore, is it? No, it's still going. This is all glitched out. It's still going. But essentially what you know you do is I had this whole chest full, and then I put you know the hopper here, and it's connected to this. So it's automatically putting the sand in there for me, which is very nice. But I also wanted to automate the way the blocks get. Bam, there we go. So what I did was is I got myself a timer. I actually got two of them to be more precise. got myself a lever and uh, I've got myself these um, repeaters. I can never think what these things are called. And every 14 seconds, click, click, it goes. So as you can see there, the delay is 14 seconds when you right click on it. So essentially what this does, you know, I can turn off by doing it here, but essentially it takes about 14 seconds for it to pour out, solidify, go into the hoppers that you see right here, and then go down here as well. So look at that. I'm going to have a whole Half of a ch double chest, or a whole chest in this case, full of clear glass when it's all said and done. So you can actually automate this um, with just about anything. It doesn't have to be uh, sand. Basically, the sand is a one-for-one -one ratio, so one block of sand equals one block of clear glass. The reason why I wanted to get the clear glass was for my project. That's all glitched out. But see how like this isn't uh, seamless? You know, it has seams here. Um, and the clear glass is not like that. It's uh, it's you know it's it border borderless I suppose, and it's sort of borderless. It does have sort of a border around the very far edge. There are some examples out in the world that I could show you, but um, you know it'd take a while for me to get out to them. But uh, and actually, it wouldn't take me very long to get to one of them if it's still there. Let's go right now. Let's go right now. I got some villagers. I'll explain how I got that here in just a second. Let's see who's. I think it's this base that has the clear glass it's been a minute since I've been here oh he's added the smeltery oh magic wood stairs that stuff looks cool let's see let's fly out here here we go this is clear glass see bam but he's using panes I will be using solid blocks oh that's kind of or wait no that's kind of glitchy but as you can see here it just has one border around the entire mass of the glass which is pretty cool. We are running the latest snapshot for this uh, attack of the B team, by the way, so that might be a little, little iffy. That might explain why. But yeah, that's what I'm going to be doing. But I'm going to be using it with solid blocks instead. So I need a lot of them, and that is what I did to do that. So also, I'll be using this likely in other scenarios where I just want to isolate one particular thing, perhaps uh, iron. I may do that with iron because there are a few things I need a lot of iron blocks for, so I may automate that at some point in the future. Also, I just want to show you that I have this exo armor, which is a lot of fun. It's a Tinker's Construct. Essentially, uh, you can put this armor on, and then you can also add other things to a table over here. The way you get this special table, this Tinker table, is you have to put a crafting station next to a tool forge. It doesn't say Tinker Table when you scroll over it. I wish you did. But as you can see here, you can add things here that you make in Tinker's Construct, and you are able to modify them with the Tinker Table. And so that is actually going to allow me to put modifiers on my armor, which I'll do probably off camera, but essentially you can put like diamond and gold and all sorts of things. Um, look up the wiki. It's really, really informative that way. It's not something I'm going to necessarily bore you with. Um, I actually recorded a whole episode where um, I made the armor, but essentially it's just the same patterns as any other kind of armor, but you just have to make them out of, uh, let's see, I'll show you, bronze plates. 
it has to be the creeper face plate. So yeah, the large plate cast, you just take this thing and you come over to your thing, dump it in there, and then you put the cast in there. And essentially, uh, each one of these is eight. So it's going to take eight things of bronze and you have to uh, mix things in your smeltery as they're brewing to get the bronze. I had a lot of bronze. Did I get more blood? No. So I've got the tin, the steel, the gold, and the invar in there right now. The way I got these good old villagers is that I made myself a gun. I made myself a safari gun. And, well, I lost it. And the way I lost it is the same way I lost all of my really nice tools in between episodes. Yeah, so I built all these really cool tools. And then a creeper blew me up. So I had to rebuild all of my tools because it didn't leave a gravestone. So if you actually get blown up by a creeper, it seems to us that you are not going to get necessarily a gravestone the other time that i got blown up was more recently after the last episode that you haven't seen because uh, it's the lost episode there are going to be probably a number of those as i try to learn i had a safari gun i had um what else did i have i had all my exo armor on but i didn't have anything nice on it so i didn't really have armor on which is that is exactly why you're not watching the episode because i was convinced that i had all these like really cool um like max 10 health and all this other stuff and I didn't but I went through this portal and I went into the nether and there was a creeper in the nether and it blew me up and it destroyed well it, it stopped my portal so I had to go fix that from uh, Sheik's portal which is uh, he's are they are over here yeah Sheik is over here and see, I, I think I lost my really nice uh, pickaxe I had a pickaxe that was kind of in line with these and something else and i was not happy about it the only thing i got back was my iron hammer not my steel hammer i took my iron hammer with the weird impression that something terrible would happen and guess what it did <laughs> so I, today i'm going to just go ahead and build the safari gun and i'll show you how to do that it's pretty cheap actually it's not too bad but you need to make two of these plastic sheets and i'll show you how to do that here in a second because it's actually not too bad. As long as you have rubber, you're good to go. So I got my Safari Net Launcher right here. You need to sneak click to change the mode. So if you want to change the mode, capture mode, release mode, capture mode, that kind of thing. You can get these Safari Nets out in the wild. I don't remember how to make them. Okay, so just a slime ball and some string. I can't find any of my string. It's driving me crazy. I get string and I put it somewhere and I, I it just... It's disappeared. I don't know where it goes. I did make a reusable safari net. If you go to the nether enough and kill enough gas, you can get yourself quite a few of these. Also, ender pearls. I have a lot of those. So I've got five gas tiers here. And so, I, yeah, I had I had one of these reusable uh, guys here. And it got blown up by the creeper. Like I said, the only thing I think I came away with was this hammer, maybe this pick, and some other random stuff. It blew up everything else, and I was very, very disappointed. I was very angry. So what I did was I went over to my village, which we'll do right now. I actually kind of want to kill those villagers. But I have a village that is way over here. So my base is right here. So the village is right here on the cusp of the, um, the map. There is technically somebody that I think is over here. But they are getting the exception. I'm going to grab this chicken. Actually, do I want to grab the chicken or do I want to grab... Yeah, the chicken is somewhat reusable. So there you go. Got the chicken. He's in the ball. Now he's in our safari net. Pretty cool, right? I had one guy that was up here. Oh, yeah, that's one of the guys that I took. Um, I guess I can show you a little bit of the village. Not much. But as you can hear, there's actually a lot of villagers in here. These guys have a lot of really good trades, like this guy. An emerald for tongue of dog. I know there's some people that like that, but this guy I really like. Eight gold for an emerald? Uh, yes, please. I'm going to be using him a lot. Emeralds are really handy when you are building uh, tools in the tool station. So we got some houses. Ooh, excuse me. Got some houses. Got some uh, stuff over here. Got one of these bad mamma gemmas. Didn't even realize that. Uh, let's see. Got my potatoes from over here. I've got some other guys locked up. I got all my necromancy stuff from over here. Oh, I guess I can collect this. This is stuff that I left because I had a full chest. 
Yeah, nothing in there. But I'm getting tired of getting blown up by creepers. And actually Munch gave me something that might help out with that. So we might get into the little bit of the DNA stuff sooner rather than later. But I need to look up that stuff so we won't get to it today. But actually when I came back from the, the nether, I had these signs up here. I'm trying to think of where I put those. Did I put them over here? He actually gave me a syringe. Yeah, he gave me a syringe. And then he gave me the gene to avoid creepers. So essentially, you know how like cats, you take a, you tame a cat and you have it run around with you and stuff? Yeah, you can get that. You can get that as a gene. And so essentially you can become kind of like that part of the chicken, which is really funny. Actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw this guy in here with... Oh, I need to switch the mode. Release mode. But you <laughs> so now the chicken's in there. Don't grab this. But what's really funny about oops. Come on. Yeah, what's really funny about these villagers is that they're right outside my door. So at night I get all these zombies that just come up here and they're just like bleh, bleh, I know there's villagers there. By the way, a creeper was sitting right here and blew up the front of my my room as well. That's why I always just run out. From here on out, I just run out and I turn around and look. But, uh, but yeah, this is temporary anyways. So, yeah, I get all those zombies at night now, and that's, and these guys don't really, oh, dang it, I forgot that chicken was going to be able to <laughs> walk around. That's fine. You can go wherever you want. But these guys kind of have crappy trades. I just wanted to play around with my original safari gun, but luckily, when you build the plastic sheets for that you get this raw plastic but in order to get raw plastic you have to smelt a rubber bar and um, so yeah you smelt the rubber you smelt the rubber bar and then you smelt um, yeah you smelt the rubber bar into raw plastic and then you can make that stuff hey chicken and so I've got raw rubber here so you put the raw rubber in and then you get the rubber mm, I'm saying rubber a lot Rubber baby bumper bumpers, rubber, rubber, I don't even know, <laughs> but you put, yeah, you, so you put the rubber, whatever, and you get a rubber bar. Yeah. So you put raw rubber, then you get a rubber bar, then you can get the raw plastic. And then it gives you enough of those to actually build four. So you really need two just for the gun. So luckily I had two left over and that's why I was able to get the gun so quickly, but I have a reusable safari net now. So basically if I want to go get cows or if I want to start some sort of farm with something else, or if I just want to go get like a creeper or a zombie or whatever other entity that's in the world, I'll be able to collect it with that reusable safari net, which is really cool. I was really upset that I, I uh, got blown up or that got blown up because I don't have a lot of gas tears but it wasn't the end of the world. So that is actually how you do that. So if you, you know, needed to know that good, if not, well, now you do, or you know, again, I guess Is this thing still running. No, we're all tapped out. This thing runs through lava, like nobody's business. Yeah. Look at that. Almost smelted. So we, I'll show you where I get my lava real quick. And then I probably will call it quits. Do I have, yes, I have all my buckets with me. So that explains that. So let's go get that. Let's turn into a bat. I've got kind of like this mine shaft that I use. Come on, up, up, and away. There we go. <laughs> Look at that, the clouds. So we updated, so I need to turn those clouds off. <laughs> Video settings, clouds off, because I am well above the clouds. Not the fake ones that get built, the ones that are built into the normal game. And they're real flat and not very fun. This is what I love. Go down my shaft, I just go, woo. Bam, hit the bedrock. There's my tunnel, which is really creepy. Oh, there it is. So, yeah, that's where I get my basalt. Oh, the stupid water sounds. Forgot about that. Uh oh. There's a spider all up in here. You know what? I should probably light up this over here. Actually, let me get rid of that. This is oil, by the way, but I'm leaving it. Ooh. Didn't realize there was more lava back here. Wait, is that an emerald? Oh, no, it's quantum. Gets me every time. Ooh, this thing goes farther back than I. Oh, wait, cool sapphires. Wee sapphires. Let's get those. This has luck on it, so we might get more than one. 
Nope, just one. That's fine. That's fine. Have to be real careful about <laughs> going down on that. Otherwise we're gonna get ourselves burned to death. But yeah, this is where I get my lava right now. Now that I know that there's more too. You heard that spider, right? Yeah, he's somewhere in here. We grab this real quick. It's getting more and more dangerous to collect this. There we go. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. One more. There we go. Don't fly with lava in your hand. I've had it burn me before. <laughs> more ways than one. So that's where I get it. But I've got all these different stages. I mine a lot of stuff through here. Get that. But yeah, that's how we do it. But I just take some lava and, you know, I take a couple trips. I know there's easier ways of doing it. You get a big old tank. You can get a big thing of lava put in it. I don't know. I just like kind of floating around sometimes. Get where I'm going. Ooh, get away from that guy. Oh, see, don't, I'm flying with lava in my hand. It's stupid. Like I said, it's going to burn me. But as you can see here, we got this all dug out. I almost forgot to show you guys that. This is all dug out. So as you can see here, this is going to be a pretty big building. And the front half from here all the way up and around is going to be glass. So this whole part's going to be glass. This whole part's going to be glass. That whole part's going to be glass. That's going to be glass. We have a lot of glass. And this is going to be a lot of quartz. So basically, this half glass, this half quartz, and other miscellaneous things. Oh, that guy wants me real bad. But look at this. This is really cool. I'm going to put like an observation window here and get rid of these uh, lights. We're going to have glass here. This is uh, like raw sewage or something. It's, it's nasty. You get into it, it freaks you out. Also, uh, get rid of these torches and probably have, well, we'll already have glass on this side. So we'll be able to use this kind of as an observation and see if anything spawns in there. But this is very, you know, scientific. It's not a spaceship. It's just kind of a lander is what I'm basically, like a research lander. So this thing, the, the, the thing I imagine is that this thing gets dropped down into planets and it's able to survive uh, basically hitting the Earth. So we're going to do a little bit more um, sort of terraforming here, do some ashes, some burning stuff. It's going to be really cool. But essentially what this is is it just gets dropped into planets and uh, they do sort of research on the local stiff. There we go. That's better. That is the, you know, that's kind of the weird thing that I'm going for. It's kind of a spacey kind of thing. I like it. I think it's fun. It's kind of a play on the last wedge I built. We'll be able to put a lot of cool machines and whatnot in it. So yeah, we fill this up with lava and now it gets going again. And uh, this thing will basically keep going every 14 seconds. There we go. So it has a little bit more in there. There we go. Yeah. So it has one block in there. Now it has two. So slowly but surely, this thing will uh, sort of fill up again. It's about 20 or 40 blocks at a time, depending on when I start either machine. Uh, I'm probably going to have to go get a lot more sand and keep this thing going. But, you know, a whole chest, I mean, look at that. A whole chest, we started with sand. We have that much glass. Um, I'm keeping track of it. That is, equals 1,728 blocks. And if we end up using all those, that's going to be impressive. And I have a strange feeling we probably will. So you'll probably see glass getting installed. I'm not going to do that on camera because that is very, very boring. I already know that. But essentially, um, during calls and like group calls and stuff, I'll probably be pu putting that on there and keeping myself entertained with all the antics of everyone else. So that is really going to do it for today's episode. It's kind of a where are we now and where we are going kind of episode. I'll try to find some other cool stuff to uh, show you in the next episode, but uh, I'm really enjoying this game. I'm really curious to see uh, the challenges that continue to get brought up. Yeah, I'll show you guys these trades here real quick. Just uh, emerald for melons, which is whatever, and then emeralds for cookies. I brought these guys over again just because I was testing it out. Plus, I'm going to put these guys actually in my... You know what? I guess I could put these in individual safari nets, and that would keep me protected. Let's do that. Let's put these villagers in these safari nets and then call it quits. But yeah, I'm going to move these guys into the, uh, the base. Let's see. Capture mode. Pew! Pew! So we got both these guys. Very cool. So now they'll shut up and uh, the zombies will leave us alone. Didn't even think about that. Glad I did. Safari net and Safari net. Wow, those two are different. Villager. Oh, oh, the health is different. Oh yeah, because I smacked that guy because he was being really loud. But yeah, shouldn't have any problems with the zombies anymore. So again, having a lot of fun. Looking forward to all the really cool stuff that is coming down the pipe. So until next time, this is JPG. Go play your games.
and I'll be seeing ya.